Yeah, so it's uh, been out a while now, but the new rig from Petzl. Um, redesigned the old one. Significant features about it, really. They've, they've redesigned the cam, all right? So it's significantly better on two-person loads. It's now rated for 200 kg in a rescue, um, and it's self-locking. They've also beefed up this front plate. We used to get a lot of wear on there, and also you can run it straight out of there. So I'm just stick it in, put it on a rope. When you first get it, it feels, you're like, oh, I can't get that in there, but it doesn't take long. And you just, all you do is cock the handle to there and then you can put it straight in. You know, it, it doesn't take long to get used to it at all if you're actually using it. Um, brilliant for going up, great for coming down. A little bit slippy on new ropes, we have discovered. Um, but this is the big thing for me, you, you know, you're abseiling down and it's, it's self-locking. All right, so great for hauling. Great for lazy people who could never be bothered to push the handle round. Um, another discrepancy out of the way. So that's the first one, that's been out uh, for a while now. Looks near enough identical, but this is a new ID. Um, so we've got the same features as, as the old ones. So we've got the, if you thread it on the wrong way around, the cam will stick in. Um, the same, they've, they've made this auto lock in as well. Um, same beefed up rounded plate and run it through there. 200 kg for rescue again. Um, I just put this on. Again, I've only had it this morning, but you, you, when you first get it, you're like, oh, I don't, don't go in, but you just pop it in, cock the handle to there, and it goes straight in. And again, you know, great for going up because it's self locking. They've done away with a button on the end but the anti-panic's still there. But if you want to feed slack into it now, you either do like you always did and just do that with it, or they've, they've increased the size of the cam so you can put your thumb on it. So if you're working on slopes, I mean, there's not a lot of excuse now if you're working on slopes, you'd be able to control it quite easily. But yet, yeah, still retaining the fact that, you know, if you've got a novice who goes too fast, it'll lock off. So in terms of rigging for rescue, these new devices, they are great because you can just feed slack through them and they automatically lock off. But they have come up with another new ID. So this one is called the EVAC ID. There's some subtle differences. It's pretty much identical, but the handle is the other way up. So I'll, I'll show you what I mean. So we'll put it into our Rig for rescue system. Okay, so I'm going to haul on my evac. Right, so very smooth, very efficient. I've got 80 kilos on that. I'm not putting that much effort in. Okay, so very easy to haul with it. And then the big difference is on the lowering. Okay, so just take my haul out. I've just changed this out to lowering system just to show you the new uh, EVAC. It's upside down. So it would be difficult operating that handle and an ID handle up there. All right, so I just swapped it out to an ASAP so I can show you. So yeah, the, the big, you've got built-in friction and your handle's there and you can, very controllable that, you can feel where it is.
Yeah, so new rig, it's been out for a while now. Um, but yeah, it's just, it's a lot smoother for ascending. Uh, and they've also ironed out the, the problems with rescue. So it's, it's a lot smoother when you get on the, you can feel the bite point a little bit more, or a lot more. Uh, and you can run the rope over there, or there. Um, but yeah, it's just a lot smoother. Yeah, so the new ID as well, super smooth going up. Uh, probably not quite as smooth as a rig, um, but still a lot smoother than the old one. Going down, you've still got the anti-panic. It's got, you know, you run it over there, over there. Uh, but that's the big, that's the big improvement. It's self-locking, so catch is still the same. 